stage 5.1, divesting and polishing. So the spin cycle's finished in the furnace. We can then open the door. Out comes the casting. Oh, it's still quite warm at this stage, probably Doesn't about look at 500 degrees. Yeah. And she don't want to be touching it yet. So after it's cooled down, we can uh, knock it out of the uh, casting ring. That's what it looks like. We then put it in some acid, and that takes off all the uh, oxide on the surface. It's called pickling. It's called yeah. pickling. That's what it looks like. And then we use a series of um, abrasives to finish off the um, the crown. First thing then, a cut off disc to get rid of the sprue. Now you see why we positioned it where we did, so that we can get rid of it easily. Mm -hmm. Not running very fast that. This is where asbestos fingers are handy. Yeah. Or maybe a little bowl of water on your desk as you work. Yeah. I noticed you haven't got one here, but that's probably because you're a pro, isn't it? <laughs> Either that or just couldn't be bothered to go to the tap. <laughs> it does get a little bit warm. Mm. Okay, so you're going from sort of one side and then the other, making sure you don't take a lump out of your model. I notice you're doing it on the model. I am, yeah. Um, it's easier to hold, but there's the danger that you're going to damage your model and that as it gets hot, the um, die spacer melts underneath mm. and sticks your crown to the model, but uh, hopefully it won't in this case. Okay, then quite a large abrasive stone, and this is just for sort of bulk reduction, really, of the remnants of the sprue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mine came off okay. The extraction is very important here because yeah. these uh, micro finds of metal um, aren't particularly nice. Now, they have it taken all of the uh, beryllium and things out of dental alloys, so they're not as bad as they were, but it's still not good stuff. So okay. Careful with that burr, it looks quite aggressive. Yeah, stay away from the margins with. Okay, that's that gone. And then we use a finer abrasive just to smooth off and create a nice surface finish where we've, where we've taken the, uh, the bulk away. So reintroducing the shape back to the palatal cusp. There shouldn't be too much to do on these castings once they've, once they've come out. You know, it's just a matter of polishing really rather than changing the surface at all. Mm. And you're only worrying about one side of it. Mm -hmm. So you should never be really touching the foot surface at all. These golds are really nice to um, work with and they polish up nicely in comparison to the non-precious metals which are incredibly hard, mm. and difficult to polish, uh, difficult to work with completely and get incredibly hot when you're doing this kind of stuff to them. They also don't cast quite as accurately because they're not matched to the refractory as well. So this is why I prefer to work with these precious metals. Okay, so that's back to the original shape. So now we can take this is a, a rubber a rubber wheel with some very fine abrasive in it. So this will be used for doing the bulk of the polishing now. So similar to the type of thing that you'd use on amalgam, mm. polishing for amalgams. A rubber wheel is very good at getting your uh, your crown very hot fast. Yeah. Um, it's very easy to get it to a, a nice temperature that burns your finger, so you need to be careful. And they are surprisingly abrasive, aren't they, yeah. if you have them set too fast. Particularly on those fine margins mm. where you've just got a yeah. knife edge finish mm. on these uh, gold restorations. So you should be able to see that that's getting quite shiny now. Zoom in there. Zoom in. It's the old manual zoom. <laughs> <laughs> and then once we've been all the way around the restoration with the uh, green abrasive we go over now onto a brush and this is some uh, jeweler's rouge polish. On and jewellers do use it. And jewellers yeah, do If use you go it. and get your ring polished this is what they use. Yeah, a little brush like this. Mm -hmm. This can get, this is still um, a little bit abrasive, I think. This yeah, stuff. very slightly, isn't it? It's it's basically a lump of wax yeah. um, with very very Some fine bits of grit in. So all over, the, you can do the occlusal surface nicely with this now. And then the very last thing we'll do is just uh, buff the surface up with a cotton mop. 
So uh -huh. there we go. Again, it will get hot. Um, you want to be careful not to grab the crown with the mop as you do it and launch it across the room. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Yeah. Well finished crown. Clues will surface done as well. Mm -hmm. Job done. Excellent.